With Just in Mind, you can simulate a complex search with multiple criteria on your data list. In this example, you will be able to search by first name, last name, or sex. To reproduce the example, create a new web prototype. Select the Data Masters tab on the right of the Outline tab. Here, create a new data master by clicking on the plus icon. In the dialog that appears, give your data master a name by typing it into the name field. To add data master fields, click on the plus icon on the right. Fill in the names of the fields as desired. In the type column, mark the status and reason fields as categories. Tick the circle on the left of the status field. On the left, select the Settings gear icon. In the dialog that appears, type Past into the value field. Then, click on the plus icon on the right to add more fields. Fill them in as desired. Click OK. In the dialog, untick the circle next to the Status field and tick the one next to the Reason field. On the left, select the Settings gear icon. In the dialog that appears, select the list box from the options on the left. On the right, fill in the fields to match our example. Click OK. Back in the canvas, double click on the Data Master to edit it again. Go to the View and Edit Records tab and fill in the customer name fields to match our example. Choose the drop-down options for the status and reason fields to match our example, too. Click OK. Back in the canvas, go to the Dynamic Content section of the Basic Widget Library and drag a data list widget to the center of the canvas. In the dialog that appears, type the name of your data master into the Identifier field. From the Data Master's drop-down, select your Data Master. Below, select all of the Data Master fields that you wish to display in your data list. Click OK. Position the data list on the canvas. From the Outline tab, click on the data list and within that, the Status node. Drag the Status node to the canvas and place it above the data list. Do the same with the Reason node and place it next to the Status node on the canvas. Next, drag two buttons onto the canvas and place them on the right of the Reason node, one under the other. Rename them as desired. Select the Search button and go to the Events tab. In the Events dialog, add an on-click and set value event, selecting the data list. Below, select the value as calculated and click on the Add Expression option. Drag the Filter function to the first circle in the Expression Builder. Drag your Data Master from the Data Master's tab to the second. Drag the Status node from within your Data Master to the third. Drag the Has function to the fourth. Drag the Status category from the Screens tab to the fifth. Click OK twice. Now, right-click on the event you've just created and select the Add Action option. In the Events dialog, add another On-Click and Set Value event, selecting the data list. Below, select the value as Calculated and click on the Add Expression option. Drag the Filter function to the first circle in the Expression Builder. Drag the data list from the Outline tab to the second. Drag the Reason node from within your Data Master in the Data Master's tab to the third. Drag the Has function and finally the Reason category from the Screens tab to the fourth. Click OK twice. Select the Clear button and add an On-Click and Set Value event, selecting the data list. Click OK. And that's it. Click Simulate to interact with your data master.